hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today in this video i'm going to show you how i have implemented a fully dynamic uh, page.txx file in next 13 so let's get started so what i have simply done is you can see my next.js project here i have removed page.txs file in the root level so you can see there's no any page.txs file uh, in the root level and what i have done is i have added this dynamic route folder in the root section and here inside that i have added a page.txs file so you can see i have added spread operator here and also I have used double square brackets so double square brackets make this an optional route and this uh, uh, what is called a spread operator has made it uh, to add any multiple folder levels you know so if you go through the next just documentation it's uh, shows what each of these uh, double bracket spread operator does. So I have used them to create this uh, fully dynamic uh, home page or fully dynamic page or TXS file in next 13. So if you have a look here, you can see in the root level, if we try to go to URL localhost 3000, it displays home page. So here what I have done is I have used params and i check whether this slug is empty so you can see if in the console.log the slugs consoles as undefined that means it's in home page so what happens is if it's null then we know it's in home page so we can render the home page component on here and if it's not in the home page if it has other subfolders like this let's say it's blogs then it goes to another page blocks it displays another page and also it displays the first slug you know the slugs returns an array uh, <coughs> string array so here it is so if you want to you know uh, have a look on that one you can uh, use any conditional if statements in here and you can render the other pages you need so if we add another subfolder here let's see let's say it's four five six let's guess it's a blog id you can see in the console log you can see both these uh, subfolders we add in the url so in a single page let's say you don't know the number of uh, uh, navigation nav nav items you have let's say it's fully dynamic it comes from uh, uh, CMS like WordPress backend or from a strappy or something like that so what you can do is you can use this approach to create a fully dynamic uh, next.js uh, 13 website and hope you guys to meet in a next video and please try it yourself uh, experiment it yourself and that's the only way you can learn programming thank you very much and have a nice day